All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, Kodash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. That's his true name. And Rakak Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing the word in all truth and all sincerity. And I'm going to entitle this lesson This Truth is More Than Just Having Multiple Wives. Beards and having family barbecues, okay. And um, the reason why I'm doing this uh, um, lesson is um, because I was meditating as I was uh, taking a walk, and I was thinking of actually some of the fallout in um, you know, GMS Chicago actually, and um, you know, just other camps, and you know, in general, when you have um, you know, people who come into this truth, uh, so to speak. Well, I'm not even going to say that they're in the truth because if you're in this truth, you're going to endure to the end. Lord willing, you know, myself and who's ever listening, you know, we're those who are really in this truth, you know. But um, I'll, put, I'll uh, rephrase it. Um, Those who hear about this truth, you know, they, you know, taste the uh, the honey, okay, which we know, as the scriptures say, they, you know, that this um this word is uh like honey and it's sweet at first, but you know as you digest you know, uh this word okay, and you actually start living, you know uh this life, okay, you know being a true follower of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai becomes very bitter, and you know, with this whole Israelite thing, a lot of guys out there they get wooed off of hearing that they can have multiple women, you know that's not a sin. You know that. You know, uh, um, you know. There's a lot of you know, uh, you know, events with the brothers. You know, having barbecues and you know, you know how it is, man. You know, brothers. You know, get together. You know, they may watch. You know, you know, a fight. They may watch a basketball game. You know, cookout, grill, and then you know, of course, right now, you know, having you know beards is the in thing. You know, and it's much more than that. Okay. And, you know, this lesson is really um, more or less directed to you uh, younger Akim out there, okay? But, you know, even to us, you know, brothers who've been in, you know, this truth for, you know, you know a few years, you know, some time now. You know, like, don't forget, man, look, this truth is more than just these things, okay? Look, this truth, you're going to um, have to learn discipline. You're going to um, go through uh, many trials, you know, tribulations. You're going to deal with adversity, Okay, afflictions. And you're really going to suffer in this truth. Okay? Look, we're not in our kingdom yet, alright? We're not in our kingdom. Now, if you have, you know, these things going on, it's like, you know, certain brothers, they may have multiple women. Yeah, hey, you know, as the scriptures say, where well, there is no law, there is no transgression. Okay? But I'm just giving, you know, sound advice. You know, don't be, you know, uh, um, mingling yourself with, you know, multiple women. Because that comes with more and more problems then, okay? Because as the scriptures say, um, he that get it the wife, get it the possession. Now that woman is your property, and now that now you got to, uh, you know, care for that woman and deal with her, all right? And, um, you know, point being, though, is, look, we're going to be going through a lot of things, all right? And um, like I was uh, uh, saying earlier, you know, you got a lot of guys out there. That, you know, they, they love the, you know, the sweet, you know, aspect of this truth. But look, it's very bitter. The majority of the time in this truth is a bitter time, okay? And that's because the Lord is purging us right now, all right? The Lord's purging us. And uh, Apostle um, Ramlab always says this, you know, the bitter things are actually the uh, best things for you. Because he always mentions... You know, uh, um, about eating bitter herbs and things like that. And how that's very good for the body. And, you know, us going through, you know, b you know uh, bitter times and dealing with, you know, these afflictions. That's actually uh, uh, very good for us spiritually. Because when, you know, true adversity and when all hell, you know, um, comes to this place. You know, we're, we're going to, um, you know, be spiritually prepped, so to speak. All right. And um, I'm going to start off with this scripture here in Sirach um, 2 and 1. It says, My son, 
If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And that's what we always have to remember, okay? The second we, you know, you know, uh, um, decide that this word is the truth, look, we're going to... Uh, um, we're going to deal with many uh, afflictions, many temptations, all right? And things aren't going to be easy, okay? You're going to get, um, there's going to be times where you're going to um, have to battle, um, you know, a temptation of, uh, uh, of adultery, you know, because that happens, all right? You know, uh, you're going to have to deal with uh, pride, okay? Cause that that occurs, you know. You know, sometimes pride, you know, creeps in, and then you gotta, you know, uh, uh, humble yourself. Okay, get in order, listen. All right, hear wise counsel, listen to the rebukes and the reproofs that are uh, uh, going forth. All right, those are just to name a few things, and there's more too. Okay, you know, you've you've had brothers, you know. Uh, they've been offered money, man, from the, you know, from Esau. And they rejected these things. Okay? And then ultimately, you know, when that, um, the hour of temptation comes, that's, you know, when, um, the RFID microchip will be, man you know, mandatory. You're going to have to resist that. All right? Um, verse 2, it says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. And a lot of guys out there, especially, you know, you know, those who, you know, are, you know, new in the faith, they're not used to dealing with, you know, the adversity. And they don't like dealing with, you know, these, you know, uh, uh, situations. And a lot of them, you know, run away from it. Hey, but when you uh, uh, deal with, you know, these uh, situations, look, um, don't make haste, all right? Suffer through it. And and thank you, Ha'obah Shemiashai, for going through it, okay? Because the Lord's going to uh, ultimately, you know, teach you a lesson. And you're going to get more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? And it's going to make you a better man than Ha'obah Shemiashai, all right? You and you want that. Look, it, you know, short term it doesn't feel good, all right, going through those you know uh, present affli afflictions, all right. But uh, long term, it's gonna uh, uh, be a, a great benefit to you, okay. For your uh, walk in this truth, all right. Verse three: Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Okay? And a lot of guys, they don't like taking it cheerfully, you know, these afflictions. Look, you're going to deal with stuff. You're going to lose money. You're going to lose women. You're going to lose children. You know, you're going to um, you're gonna uh, lose your health. All right? You're going to deal with uh, uh, mental uh, stress, phys physical stress, physical ailments. All right? Spiritual, uh, you're going to be getting attacked spiritually. Okay? Not going to get a lot of sleep. You're going to be doing a lot of sacrificing. You're going to go uh, out of your way for brothers. You're going to lose money for brothers. Uh, lose your time for brothers. Okay? You're going to have to uh, constantly teach. Alright? This is just a, a, a part of... Um, a part of the uh, the lot of being a, of a prophet, man. Okay, a man serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And when you go, through, you know, when the Lord, you know, puts you in, you know, adversity, and when he, when he's really jacking you up, hey, be patient, man. Deal with this. Suffer. Okay. Don't always think about the negative things. You have to think about the positive things as well. All right. And that's something that's been, you know, programmed in us to always think of the negative, negative, negative. But look, think of the positive things. Okay, the Lord's doing this to me. Why is He doing this to me? Oh, I'm, you know, maybe I'm not reading enough. Maybe I'm not praying enough. Maybe I'm not, um, you know, um, uh, watching, you know, uh, uh, videos of the apostles or the elders getting, you know, these breakdowns. Maybe I'm not doing that enough. Okay, but now I need to uh, 
uh, uh, learn uh, some discipline. I need to learn how to cut certain uh, uh, aspects, you know, certain things out of my life, man. Okay? Or trim it down. I need to make time for the Lord, man. And that ultimately is going to uh, 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 better you. Okay? Verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Okay, so look, acceptable men are going to go through these things. They're going to go through all these trials and tribulations. All right? And like I said, that's something that, you know, especially you younger brothers, you, you have to understand. You're going to go through hell, man. You're going to go through hell. All right? And I'm just, I'm going to speak on my situation, you know, real quick. You know, just a little quick testimony. Ended up uh, 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 being out of work for two weeks, all right, for something that I didn't even do. All right, lost, you know, uh, basically like $2,000, okay, because I haven't been working. Been tied on money right now. All right, then 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 uh, I got attacked uh okay with the uh, with the virus, all right? My body was all sick. I, I had a uh, fever, aches, all right? Couldn't eat. And this happened within a, a 3 week time span. I'm barely like getting over this hump now, man. All right? Through the spirit and power you how about shimmy shy. Hey the Lord, you know, hey, allow me to get work. My body's, you know, feeling a little bit better now. All right? Hey, but I had to go through these things, man. Okay? And hey, this happens to all, you know, all the, you know, all brothers, man. You know? Especially for you younger brothers. Hey, ask the brother above you. Hey, you know, you know, ask him about, you know, some of the afflictions that he's gone through. And he'll tell you, man. Now, certain brothers, they got kicked out of their homes. The Lord uh, um, made sure they were still taken care of. Made sure that they, you know, found jobs. Certain brothers were in, uh, you know, uh, life-threatening situations. And the Lord protected them. Alright? But, you know, hey, you know, you, for you younger brothers, talk to those who've been in this truth, okay, for some time. You know, talk to them and ask them questions. And listen to, to them, Alright? And they'll help you uh, help you out in your journey, all right. You know, and then for us brothers out there, you know, who've been going through it, hey, just remember, we gotta constantly endure. We gotta keep uh, dealing, man. And it's it's gonna keep you know coming at us. This stuff is not gonna stop, man. All right. All right. From uh, here, I want to get this uh, Luke fourteen in uh, twenty seven, and it reads, "And whosoever doeth." Not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So look, all of us are going to have to bear our particular cross, okay? And we're all going to have to deal with adversity. We're going to have to deal with uncomfortable situations. Okay, because hey, uh, best belief Satan's going to attack you where you're weak at, man. Okay? You know, certain brothers, they love, you know, uh, uh, their family. So guess what? Satan is going to... Uh, uh, attack your, you know, your family, all right? He, he's going to deal with your household. Now, certain brothers, they, they really love women. Hey, the, the, you, you, you might have um, all the women that, you, you know, that, that's been, that, that, that you've been, you know, around or whatever you want to say, man, that you, you know, that, you know, that you're uh, with. Hey, the Lord's going to take them away, man. Certain brothers, they, 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 they say it might uh, hit your health, man. You know, my, you might get a, a, a attacked financially. Who knows, man? Okay? But whatever it is, you're going to have to bear your cross, all right, and deal with it. Verse 28, it says, For which of you intending to build a tower sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he hath sufficient to finish it? All right? And this is the main reason why I'm bringing this scripture out is because you have a lot of guys... They never really counted the cost. They never really sat down and said, "Am I going to be able to endure these things? Am I going to uh, be able to, you know, lose all these things?" 
okay? Because like I said I, earlier, I was walking and thinking about just guys that were in uh, this particular camp and how a lot of them fell out, you know, uh, 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 because of, you know, they wanted to be around their family. They didn't want to, um, they didn't, I guess you could say, uh, consider how much time is set, uh, that they had, they had to sacrifice, okay? They didn't consider, okay, that this would be, uh, this would, uh, your life would be revolving around the truth, man, all right? They didn't want to lose that. You know, they saw, you had certain certain guys that fall out because they wanted to, uh, you know, keep um, keep their nice job. All right. You had certain guys that didn't want to make enough. Uh, you know, they didn't want to make videos. They thought maybe you know just going out there in the highways and byways once a week was fine. Now, the Lord's not looking for bare minimum Israelites, man. He's looking for those who are going to go above and beyond. And we know, look, there's a balance to everything. Okay? Yes, there's a balance. But the Lord wants men that are going to, uh, uh, you know, go out of their way. They're going to do, you know, you know, much for Him. Okay? And that's something that you younger brothers have to think about. Are you ready to lose, you know, the things that you love, man? All right? Because look, all, all the brothers that have been in this truth for years will tell you that they've lost things. Whether it be, you know, a business, whether it be, you know, a high position, you know, at their particular job, losing out on job opportunities, losing, you know, particular family members, as in, you know, their family actually maybe disowned them. You know, maybe their wife actually walked out on them, took the, uh, their children from them. Okay. Those are just to name a few things, all right? It says, uh, I'm going to read this, uh, Luke 14 and 29. Least happily, after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold, it began to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. All right? And that's what's going to happen, all right? You're going to have the men of the Lord mocking you first and foremost, Okay? Like, this man, you know, he couldn't finish the job? You couldn't finish the job. You were told what, what, what was required of you, and you still couldn't finish it. You didn't, you know, you didn't prepare yourself? Then you got those that are actually, you know, these worldly people, they're going to laugh at you too. Okay? Because they're going to look at you weird now. They're going to say, oh, What? This, uh, weren't you all about that Bible last year? Now you're, you know, you know, uh, getting a uh, pork, you know, uh, pork sandwiches and you know, shrimp fried rice and you know, uh, um, uh, 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 lobster and all that. They're gonna laugh at you. Okay. People aren't gonna take you serious because one minute you were rebuking them. And then the next minute you're trying to get with them, you know, trying to, you know, hold hands with them, so to speak. All right. You know. And, um, man, I, I, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, going off, you know, you know, just kind of going with the spirit. I, I didn't even really, you know, plan anything, but, um, um, let me get this real quick, uh. Let me get this one door to the end. Wait, no, it's in door to the end. Yeah, let's just get this real quick. This is uh This is uh Mark thirteen and thirteen. It says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay, and look, if you're a true worshiper, Yahweh, Shimei, Al Shai, all right, this world's gonna hate you. Okay, the world, the world's gonna hate you. Simple as that. You're not gonna be liked. 
You know, even if you might be cool with your family, right? Because certain brothers, you know, they, um, you know, they're, they're, uh, um, you know, maybe their family didn't necessarily, you know, disown them or, you know, uh, you know, they don't talk anymore. You got certain brothers, they actually are, you know, you know, contact with family members. They spend time with them. Look, you know, they may be cool with you, but they, they don't really want to hear, you know, you speaking this Bible. Your old friends aren't going to want to hear you talking about this Bible, man. People hate you for, you know, preaching. And that's because you're, you're uh, uh, talking about the truth. And it's cutting them. And their deeds are, are, are wicked, man. All right? Hey, but look, you know, hey, he that uh, shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved, man. Okay? Those that uh that deal with all these trials and tribulations, even if it means that they have to uh, get put to death, all right? Hey, the same is going to be saved. Because even those that are, let's say, because, you know, certain brothers are going to die for this truth, all right? Look, they're going to be the first uh, risen up. They're going to be the first ones that are actually going to uh, 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 get that promise. And those ones are going to, uh, uh, and they're going to meet us in the chariots. And they're going to come down and, and um, you know, execute that judgment. All right, and they're going to be uh, rewarded greatly through the Spirit, man. All right, I want to get this uh, last scripture. I just thought of it right now. Luke nine and sixty two. Ended off with this one. This is Luke nine and sixty two. Says and Yahushai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. Okay. And look, if you've put your hands to this plow, you're going to have to keep pushing until the very end. You don't have an option, okay? And if you uh, put your hand, you know, uh, you, you know, you put your hands to this plow and you decide that this work was too much and, you know, you decide to look back, look, the Lord is going to destroy you terribly, okay? Those that fell out are going to have a harsh judgment. The Lord... Has not forgotten that the Lord is angry with a lot of people, man. Because they, you know, picked up this plow. Started doing the work. And then they, would, you know, said that this was too much. They put the plow down. The Lord hasn't forgotten about that, man. Think the Lord is going to forget, uh, forget that? Okay. And look, hey, we, uh, us brothers here. But we want to get out of here, you know. Uh, we want to get out of here. We want to be first round draft pick, all right. And we want to be the uh, the elites of the next society, man. All right. And it's worth, you know, you know, uh, us sacrificing the things that we we have to sacrifice right now. Look, it's worth it, man. Because the the reward that we're gonna get is gonna be unreal. You know, that's all I can really say. And with that, you know, hopefully who's ever listening was edified. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone and salutations to all the brothers out there.